Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa, and in today's video, I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so, don't forget, subscribe down below, hit the thumbs up button if you like it, and hit that bell notification, you won't miss my content, and share. Share me with the world. Yay! Okay, so, here's the situation. I tried filming this video earlier, um, and for some reason, it just decided to stop don't know why just went completely off and said I had no connection um, that shouldn't affect me recording a video having a Wi-Fi connection so I don't know what's up that's really really strange so I was doing the whole tutorial I used um, I'm just gonna jump right in and tell you what I used so far so I used uh, the NYX primer uh, first to prime my face and then I chose to use oh my gosh where did it go now it's disappeared mm -mm -mm. all righty then uh, oh my goodness where did it go okay well I'm not locating it at the moment so don't know what happened but I used an oil of Olay and covergirl uh, skin firming uh, primer as well I put that all over my face and all over my neck. And then I used this L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur to take care of the lines that were, I have a, a, a crease here, a worry crease, and then I have some worry lines up here too. So I used this product right here um, and filled in all those areas as well as around my mouth area, my smile lines. I did that too. And uh, the look that I was going to go for was like a kind of a sunset look on my eye. Um, I've already done my brows. I used a, um, well, you know, I just can't find anything I was using. Like all of a sudden my makeup has disappeared. Okay. I used this uh, Black Radiance uh, little cream palette for uh I used this brown right here uh, for my eyebrows to kind of fill in these sparse areas. I also um, used this orange as well for my under eyes for the dark circles under my eyes. And then I chose to use this yellow color, which, let me back up some, um, I used that over my eye as well. So I put the orange on first. And then I put on this concealer. It's the Rimmel uh, Match Perfection in light, number 245. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Light 245. I put that under my eye. I blended it in with my Beauty Blender like this. Okay, and then I took the yellow color, this yellow color right here, and I dotted it underneath my eye as well and I let it sit for a minute and then I pressed it in with the beauty blender I used a, a small beauty blender right here and I pressed it under the eye to, to kind of brighten my face up a little bit um, and it looks like I kind of need to do a little more brightening here on the corner here do that real quick while I'm talking okay and um, I will just kind of blend that boom 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 I don't do anything in, I mean, I do some things in a particular order, but okay. So I did that and then um, I took my uh, e.l.f. highlighting uh, powder and I put it in a little cup and I took my beauty blender after I'd done that, done the, the yellow to, to kind of brighten up the face and I put the yellow here I put the yellow up in here and I put it on my chin and right down my nose the bridge of my nose um, and then I took the blender and I pressed in that powder really well to set that really good I didn't use a foundation on my face for one I couldn't find my foundation so just kind of went without it um, oh and one more thing I did use uh, if I can locate it, is uh, the L'Oreal Magic 
Skin Beautifier BB Cream, and it's the Green Corrector. So, um, because I have a lot of redness in my face, so I, I used it like a foundation. Um, that's after I put on the primer, the spray primer by NYX, the Oil of Olay CoverGirl primer, and all right, we'll wait for that to go away. Okay, and then I put that Miracle Blur on, then I put this all over my face. It does come out green, but if you see right here how it's this tan color, it actually turns to that, it's kind of a skin matching uh, uh, cream. So I, I use that. Then, um, and I'm trying to do this quickly because I have to leave shortly uh, to go pick the kids up from school. So then I uh, decided to work the eyes and do the eyebrows first, which I showed you. I used this uh, cream. Everything I've gotten here so far is from the drugstore. I have used a few higher end products, um, but I used this color right here in my eyebrows and kind of sketched out my eyebrows. And that's a cream. So after I do that, I always go back in with the powder to set it and kind of blend it a little bit better. Um, I used this little brush. This is an Echo Tool brush. And that is what I used to draw on the uh, eyebrows. And I, then my little spoolie, I use it after I'm done and I just kind of go through and brush it out to blend everything really well and make it look really nice. Um, one thing that drives me nuts is that, of course, no one's face is, you know, uh, oh my gosh, I'm losing my words, uh, symmetrical. So you're not the same. And of course, everyone already knows this. But um, so as you can tell, I've got one eyebrow that is snatched like crazy. I mean, it's just, that's natural. And I'm so happy about that. But um, it looks great. And then this side is just like, so I have two different types of eyebrows. I don't know why, just the way I was made. So anyways, I put on the Urban Decay uh, eye primer on my eyes. And I had bought a small uh, little trial mini size uh, at Ulta in their checkout section. And I put that on my eye and I pat it in really well. Then what I did is I started out with, I use, um, I have BH uh, Cosmetics palettes because they're really super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I may link them down below in the description so you can see if you do click on it. I do make a little coin off of it if you do buy the, the product. That's even if they're still on there because they're like, I don't know, three years old. I know it's bad. It's a bad thing to do. Don't use makeup that's really old. But when you don't have a lot of money, you just conserve your products and you just use them. Um, and I can't afford to buy a whole lot of expensive things, so I just do the best that I can. Okay, so I used this palette right here. This is their Nude Palette. Okay, Forever Nudes. And I absolutely love this palette because uh, I love the blush and the bronzer uh, for uh, my cheeks and then, of course, for my contouring and even like the lipsticks too. And the powder, at a point in time, I had absolutely no powder, no setting powder whatsoever. So I just used the palette's powder and it worked great. Um, I used, uh, I've used this color in the center of my eye right here. And I used this one, BH Party Girl After Hours palette. And it has a variety uh, of colors. It's got 32 colors in it. I want to say I paid $15 for this palette. I've used it quite a bit. Um, it's got some bright colors. It's got some muted colors. So for my eyes, I'm trying to go for a more natural look, but I kind of wanted to do something different. I had seen um, another makeup artist uh, by the name of T.L. Mitchell, and he's on Instagram. I will uh, put him down in the description below. He just did a collab with uh, Jeffree Star. But um, I had seen him before. I'd seen some of his work on Instagram. And it's really pretty and really glam. I'm not going all glam like that. Mine's more of a muted down look uh, than what he, what he did. But he just recently did one that looks almost like a sunset uh, it, in my eyes. That's what it looked like. So anyways, I've used, um, I used this camel color right here 
I did that in the cut crease or in my crease and then I used um, I used this dark brown right here to go in the corners or the outer corner of my eye and created a V shape um, they're not perfect and I do have concealer on on top right now which I'm about to pat that out uh, to really make the brows look nice um, so I've used that color and I used this color and then I also used this peachy color right here this peachy pink color I laid that down on top before I placed um, before I placed this cream color from this palette right here uh, I put that on first and then I put that peachy color on now um, I've done most of I've laid the groundwork for my eyes on what I've done what I'm doing for my eyes and I'm just gonna kind of blend this concealer that I put on my eyebrows or above and below my eyebrows just to make it look a little more and I'll fix this of course because it's pretty harsh line um, for being a cheaper palette I will say that uh, the colors are pretty good they do um, I will say they they're not an all night kind of a palette to use and I would love to be able to get my hands on some good um, palettes but they're so expensive and I understand why I mean I know that there go there's a lot that goes into making makeup and making it you know with staying power and as Rich Lux would say snatch the house <laughs> I don't even say it right. But anyways, so I put the concealer underneath my eye to kind of help with my eyebrows to kind of, you know, give them both a little bit more uniform shape. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Um, okay, so I've got that done and I'm going to finish the look. Um, I'm going to grab my uh, Forever Nudes palette and I'm gonna grab my brush and I, I don't have expensive brushes I bought uh, these little brushes a little set of these for um, I want to say 12 bucks at Walgreens they're by echo tools and they're good brushes they've actually they they hold up they're pretty they're pretty darn good so um, I'm gonna take this little I don't even know what you would call these brushes okay this is more of a compact brush. It's more dense, more thick. It doesn't have a lot of room when you push down on it. You know, it doesn't really fan out. Um, like a brush like this right here is more soft. Ooh, look at that powder. Um, it, and it, you know, you can just like really move it around where this one right here really doesn't do a lot of movement. So it's good for packing in the color. Um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this dark brown right here. And it's weird because it's almost a purple brown. If, if that's even a color. And I'm going to go into the corners. The outer corners. I'm going to really pack in that brown. And give some hardcore definition. To my eye. Um, I just filmed my daughter doing her makeup the other day and I did it so I could work on my editing skills and maybe do show her doing her makeup with a um, showing her doing a simple look a quick look it didn't take her very long to, to put the makeup on uh, what took so long is the fact that we had little ones in the background screaming and playing and running back and forth and chasing each other and uh, so when I do edit the video I am going to why does this not do like this one does I don't get it um, But yeah, they were screaming in the background and acting like little crazy people, and I absolutely love it. But at the same time, when you're filming, um, 
that is a horrible distraction so in the video you may see her look up look over give weird looks uh because we were kind of getting on to them for carrying on like they were uh but they were kids they're just having fun <sighs> okay so in order to clean up this little ruddiness i've got over here i'm going to take another brown shade that's in the same exact palette this color right here and it's more of a shimmery color and I'm just going to kind of come up above that dark brown that I put in and I'm just going to kind of blend blend it in and I'm going to blend this even better but I wanted to not have this little halo look that I kind of got going on so I want to pack that lighter brown in on top and just kind of blend it and blending and we're blending and we're blending and we're blending we're happy little blenders I feel like Bob Ross and the happy little trees I know this isn't really coming out to look like a more simple look like I was hoping but I will mute this down here in just a minute so okay so I packed that in and that looks pretty good now I want to take, I need to find a, I have a cream color in this, the After Hours palette, and that's, that's the white one, and then this is more of a creamy color. So, I am going to take my other brush, this one right here that fans out, and I'm going to grab that cream color, and you really kind of have to dip it in the pan, but it does get a good amount of product on it. And when I knock it off, it's still there. It's just not as pronounced. And I feel like since it's not um, a heavily uh, pigmented, uh, they're not heavily pigmented, even though like some of the other palettes out there that, you know, you can just barely touch it and it's like, bam, there's that, there's that color, there's that powder. Okay, so I'm putting this up above uh, at the brow bone to kind of help set that concealer that I put up there. But it's also going to help me blend this darker shade as well. So, got that done. I'm going to grab this end of the pencil, the same brush. I love dual. I, I don't, I don't store my uh, my brushes upside down or in a cup. I keep them in a bag. Because I like to try to keep, you know, hairs and stuff out. In fact, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab that NYX primer and I'm going to spray my brush a little bit before I dip into that uh, cream color. And I'm going to take it and see, it doesn't really want to work too well when it's gets wet. I don't know. So I'm going to pop this in here like this. Really brighten up the center. My goal is to make it look like as much of like sunset as I possibly can. And this I always have tricky, tricky, tricky. Would love to have a makeup artist do my makeup. It would be my dream to have Jeffree Star do my makeup. Or have T.L. Mitchell do it. Oh my God, he's he's so good. Or Lipstick Nick. I'd like for her to do it too. It'd be amazing. But. Okay, so I'm popping that in. Okay, it's more pronounced over here than it is over here. I just don't understand why this eye doesn't want to take the makeup in. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get because, like I said, I'm running low on time. So, I've got that done. Now, for that almost sunset look, I'm going to grab that camel color, this color right here. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to come in 
the inner corner of my eye and I am going to work it just a little bit. Then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to work it in here just a little bit. Okay. Other eye. Do da. Do da. Grab the other one and come in. I like that color. It's so pretty. It's really natural looking. Okay. Then I'm going to grab that pink color or that peachy, um, this color again, same brush. But see, if you knock it, it just like wants to knock all the color off and I hate that. And I'm going to grab that and I'm going to kind of go over that. I'm going to like layer it over just a little bit. Okay. Inner corner again. Hit that with the peach. Just kind of really make it almost look like a. Take this, just kind of. Yeah, so not professional here. So not professional. Okay, but we work with what we have. Okay, that peach color, I'm going to pop a little bit right up here, just a, just a touch. And really work it. Just really work it. In and blend that top part in. Okay, so that's done. And then I'm going to want to line my eyes. Um... I don't really ever put liner on the waterline. Um, it's something I am working on experimenting with, maybe doing some white to brighten up my eyes. But um, I'm going to go back in with this Forever Nude palette. And I'm going to take that dark brown and I'm going to grab the brow pencil that I It's not the brow pencil that I used. Hello. I'm going to use the brow pencil. I'm going to dip into that dark. And I'm going to come right at the corner here. And I'm really going to just, just a light line. I'm not going to do any heavy smoke out of my liner. I talked about uh, when I was trying to film this video before and it just cut out on me for no apparent reason. I talked about putting the Urban Decay, uh, I say uh, a lot. Um, I do that too. The Urban Decay, uh, my God, I cannot not say uh. Um, or that either okay I put the Urban Decay eyelid primer in the corner of my eyes as well because everybody likes to pop that you know a lot highlight right there to really showcase the eyes so um, I'm going to I put that on and I'm going to be using this highlighter stuff by it is gold dust highlight by Jermaine it's either Montier or Monto I'm not a hundred percent on the name but this stuff is gorgeous it's a gorgeous golden pink color like rose gold I love it and like I said it's from the 70s man but I do need to like step up my game in the ways of highlighter. 
some way, shape, or form. I have some other highlighters, but this stuff just really pops. So I sprayed it with some NYX, sprayed my brush. I'm going to dip into that ever so lightly. And I'm going to grab a mirror. Well, uh, oh, I could probably do it like this. I'm going to just pop that up in the center. I'm going to have to grab some more. Hold on. Brush is still pretty tacky. And I'm going to just... And I'm taking it up in a V. Okay. Grab some more. Go this way. And again, I'm going out in a V. I'm going all the way to the lash line with it. Then just a tiny smidge more, and I'm going to dot in the corner. I don't know. Does that look good? I don't know. It highlights so well. I love it. Oh, that looks so pretty. This is what I'm talking about with the makeup community. I just love to play with the makeup and trying different looks, seeing what's up, you know, what's what other people are doing. Gosh, that's so pretty. It's so bright. Okay, so that's that's done. Now I'm gonna pop. Why do I keep saying I'm gonna I'm gonna pop? I'm going to layer this on top, same exact highlighting powder, right up in the arch of my brow. Oh, that looks so pretty. This is simple. Simple stuff. Okay. I'm loving it. But do you see? My blood pressure's going up. I'm getting red. <laughs> like, I really needed foundation to really make this look stay or look great, look pretty, whatever. <clears throat> Frustrating. Okay. So I'm going to put this concealer uh, at my lips. Come on, concealer. Hello. I'm going across my lips and the bottom. I did use, uh, I didn't say this earlier, but I did use some um, contour powder and I used Airborne International. And it's more of a bronzing powder than anything. But I used it at the hollows of my cheeks. I know you can see it somewhat underneath there. I used it around here. I used it under my chin area. I did dab a little bit under my lip. But now that's pretty gone. Pretty much gone since I put that on. I'm going to kind of tap on these pink spots. Because you know what? It's driving me crazy. I know I like did what I did. I'm going to bake with that highlighter or with that uh, high definition powder. I didn't even learn about baking. It's so weird. I'm baking my face. We used to say that back in the 80s that we were going out and we're going to bake our faces, bake our bodies in the sun 
And that's so bad for you. If only we would have listened. Well, that's great. I just spilled the highlight, the high definition powder all over my pillow. So I'm baking a little bit. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but I'm just trying, so bear with me. Okay, so I've got that, and I probably should have put some of that. Okay, this is what they do, but I, I really don't wear it that way. But uh, put a little bit of this highlight powder right down the center of my nose. If I can just get it to work here I don't say work like Jeffrey does Jeffrey star cracks me up and I think I'm gonna take like I said I love using this stuff I, I just want to I just want sparkle and I'm gonna put it at the top of the bow my cupid's bow when I put on some lipstick and I'll probably use it on top of the lipstick too and then in the center of my lip. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Done. And I really hurry. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Kids are gonna be screaming at me if I'm late. Okay. So, I always love to pop a lip. I'm not gonna do it. I usually put a little pink on my eyes somewhere. But I'm not doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this with this brush. I'm gonna blend in and around. Just kind of really bring it all together. One side looks feel like it looks darker than the other. Seriously, get it together, woman. <laughs> I'm going to go back into that brown, that dark brown, one more time and just kind of bring it up. Then I feel like I'm doing like a full-on glam look, and I am. Who are we kidding? Simple my butt. Shh. But. Okay. Ooh. Starting to look gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of the bake. Blend it all in. Do, do, do. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of blend it all. Okay, done and done. Now for some blush. Good thing it only takes me 15 minutes to get to the kids' school. <laughs> okay, so NYX, I love NYX. It's cheap. It's it's more affordable than the other uh, things, and I love this color of pink. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna grab this little angle brush. This thing is old. It's taped. Okay, it's got tape on it. Got damaged. Had to go to the hospital to get repaired. And it's a, oh, it's an elf brush. Uh, it's a bronzing brush, but I'm not using it for bronzer. I'm going to use it for some blush. So, I'm going to get this. NYX is pretty good. It goes on pretty good. Although, you're not really supposed to do that. Look at that. It's hollow. Okay. Knock some of that off just a little bit. And just lightly go over. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Looky, looky. Looky, looky. Okay. Good there. Then I'm going to grab that <clears throat> Forever palette one more time. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to grab some of that powder that's in it. And I'm just going to take the powder and I'm just going to I'm going to go over the pink. Just take it down just a little bit. Not make it so bright. 
Okay. Butimus. Butimus. I love that word. Beauty is a must. Butimus. Okay. So, um, I did the eyeliner and I did it pr pretty small. So I'm thinking I need to kind of, um, smoke it out a little bit because it looks pretty harsh. Why do we have to talk like this when we're doing the makeups? Look at this. This one blends out great. This one is just like, nope, I'm going to stay this little tight line for as long as I can. But I love seeing how some people really put out that major uh, under eyeliner. I'm thinking I might try to do an anime look. There we go. It's not like sexy, sexy, but it's not a tight little line either. But I love watching them do that. And it's so calming just to do that to yourself. It feels so nice. Okay. <clears throat> so, got the eyes done. Got the eyebrows done. Pretty much have the face done. Uh, the only thing left is highlight. And I could go back in with that same exact... Hold on. That same exact uh, highlighter that I was using earlier. Or I could go with this little tiny palette by BH Cosmetics. It's BH Hollywood. And... They have full set of eyeshadows, both sides, two different looks, like a Mardi Gras look and maybe an uptown uh, nightclub look. And then they have your bronzers and blush, and they have this little highlighter. And it's like a, almost like a unicorn highlighter. I'm going to put a little on. I'm going to kind of swatch it on my... And it's not super ma major highlight but I don't know mmm it's pretty and like I said it's cheap and it's affordable this palette I think cost me like eight bucks something like that uh, on Amazon and like I said I'll probably link it down below and you know what? I just can't. I can't stay away from this highlighter. I love it. It's pretty. It's so multi-purpose. So I'm going to grab it from the lid. And I'm just going to kind of dust it up around. Just a little bit. And it almost smells like, even for being as old as it is, it doesn't have a funky smell. It's still... Oh, yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty. It has almost a, it smells like coconuts. Weird. How it could last that long? Okay, so that look is done. Except for the lips and the mascara, which I'm going to throw the mascara on. I did buy this uh, cool one from Rimmel. It's, um, and I, I do usually have lashes. I have dark or my daughter does eight lash extensions and like I said we're gonna do a video of her doing the extensions on my eyes so you can see how it's done um but I got this Rimmel shake it fresh you shake it knocks all the air bubbles out isn't that weird you do it every time you use it that brush the brush is pretty thick the product goes on pretty thick so you knock some of it down a little bit I think I paid $4.99 for this. And I'm just going to go over. Bam, bam, bam. And I use an eyelash curler if I don't have, uh, if I don't have lashes on. And I do mascara, and I know I do it the complete opposite way you're supposed to do it. But I do... 
it after I put on my mascara. I curled my lashes with an eyelash curler. Okay, that's on. That's done. Ta-da, ta-da. Let those dry just a little bit. And then I'm almost at a full hour, so I'm gonna have to hurry. Eyelash curler. Let them dry just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this, come in. Gently close, bring it up. It didn't make a whole lot of difference, did it? This is why I love, absolutely love, my lash extensions. But I've been taking a break from them. Not because of anything bad. Not because my lashes fell out, because they didn't. They're in... <clears throat> so sorry. Uh, they're... My lashes are just fine. But I chose to... Just take a break, because there is a lot involved with caring for lashes. Sorry, I want to get some of that... A little bit of that fallout out of there. But you notice, I didn't really have a lot of fallout uh, with my eyeshadow, which I absolutely love. I didn't have to put anything over my face. And I think that's the thing with things that are not um, as highly pigmented. And you don't really have to worry about that versus something that is more pigmented. You do have to worry about uh, fallout. I'm not saying all brands do that. But I've seen some uh, videos and tutorials where they, you know, or re reviews on it that show, oh, my lips are so dry. Sorry. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry. All right. So, that is my look. And I'm going to grab some lipstick real quick. And we'll see... what color I should use. I have this color right here. It's called Honey Bear. It's a matte lipstick that I could go with. I also have this. This is by Wet n Wild. It's a velvet matte lip color. And I think it's by Fergie. I mean, it's just bad, but I don't think I really want to go with that. I think and I have some reds and I have some hot pinks, but I think I'm just gonna go with this nude color. I don't even know who this is by. It's just a nice little curl, coral color. I don't know if this is by, I can't even read it. I need help. I need glasses. I've got contacts in, but I need help. So, no, I'm not wearing that color. That has got the weirdest, nastiest taste ever. Oh my god, that's horrible. I mean, just talking, I didn't even lick my lips. And it tasted awful. Okay, I don't know what that brand is, but it's it tastes horrible. So here we go, Burt's Bees. This is coconut.
Mm, pretty. Especially with the highlight that I put at the bow of my lip. Looks great. Looks great. Feels great. Okay, so that's my look. I didn't do any wing liner or anything like that. I just kept it kind of natural. It still looks kind of glam because of all the shimmer. But uh, I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think? I mean, I know my hair is up in a bun and everything. But what do you guys think of the look, the eye look? Think that's pretty? Do you think I need help? Do you think I need more lessons? Maybe. I don't know. Any beauty gurus out there want to give me some tips? I'm happy to hear it. Comment down below. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you liked my first makeup tutorial, let me know what you think. Again, I apologize. It ran kind of long. I am going to try to trim it down some, so hopefully I can get it down to under 30 minutes. Um, but don't forget to subscribe. Hit the... Uh, thumbs up button if you like the video and uh, hit that bell notification. You won't forget any or you won't miss any of my content. Forget any of my content. You won't miss any of my content and uh, make sure to share, share the video if you like it too. Okay. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their week and I will see you next time. Bye.